chapter 16 verses 1 hapo ndio tunasoma na hapo ndio tunapata uh, mahubiri yetu siku ya leo mambo manne ambayo unafaa uangalie na utengeneze ili uweze kubarikiwa hapa duniani kuna mambo manne yanaweza kufanyika kizuizi cha wewe kufanikiwa na mafanikio sio tu mambo ya pesa though pesa pia ni mafanikio lakini mafanikio ni mambo mengi pande ya ndoa pande ya huduma pande ya amani pande ya um, uh, maisha mazuri na Ezekiel akaonyeshwa na Mungu uh, katika kitabu cha Ezekiel 16 na akaambiwa mambo yale huwa yanasumbua watu hapa duniani na ni mambo manne leo nitazungumzia jambo lingine moja na kila wakati tutachambua uh, tunaenda jambo hilo lengine Biblia inasema hivi again uh, tusome pamoja again the word of the lord came unto me saying son of man cause jerusalem to know her abomination fanya yerusalemu ijue shida yake ielewe mambo yale ambayo inawasumbua yerusalemu sio muji ni watu tukisema nakuru sio nakuru ama narobi sio hizo building ni watu wale wanaishi huko si mnaelewa mpaka hapo na bible inasema son of man cause jerusalem to know her abomination a Yerusalemu ijue shida yake iko wapi makosa yake huwa ni yapi na Bible inasema verse 3 and say that says the Lord that says the Lord unto Jerusalem uh, thy birth and thy nativity number 2 uh, were in the land of Canaan number 3 thy father was an Amorite and your mother was an Ahitite number 4 mambo manne ambayo yalikuwa yanasumbua Jerusalem number 1 kuzaliwa kwako Jerusalem Number two, uh, your origin ulitoka wapi Jerusalem? Chanzo chako ni kipi? Mzizi wako Jerusalem ni yupi? Uh, ulizaliwa wapi? In the land of Canaan number three. Na number four, who was your father and who was your mother? Uh, na hayo mambo ndiyo manne ambayo uh, nimekuwa Bwana amenipatia neema niwahubirie. Ya kwanza ni kuzaliwa kwa mtu. Number two, Uh, chanzo cha mtu ama mzizi wa mtu mtu ulitoka wapi number three, uh, hapa bible inasema in the place of canaan meaning ulilelewa kwenye mazingara gani you know traditions and culture can affect how well you can serve god and number four, who was your father and who was your mother maana mambo hayo manne ndio inategemea umbali wa mtu atakaoenda ulizaliwa na nani who is your father and who is your mother maana vitu zile sometimes unapata zinapiga baba yako zitakupiga if you're not uh, spiritually strong ndio unasikianga daktari akiambia mtu hii ugonjwa kwenu kuna mtu ako na ugonjwa kama hiyo maana hata daktari anaelewa kuna ugonjwa unaweza kuwa nayo but it is from your father or from your mother it is inherited kwa hivyo leo nataka nizungumzie your nativity your origin tulizungumzia your birth na nitataja your birth kidogo Bible inasema Mungu akamwambia John asio John Zechariah the father of John the Baptist akamwambia kwamba utazaa mtoto na huyo mtoto akizaliwa there will be great celebration from people watu watamfurahia watu watamshangilia na Biblia inasema kwamba wakati John alizaliwa watu walimshangilia na mimi huwa ninauliza watu wewe ulipozaliwa ulishangiliwa ama ni nani alikushangilia maana ni muhimu na ndio sababu unapata the way you come into this world reception ile unapewa the reception you are given will also attract certain kind of favor in your life mtu ambaye amezaliwa hapa duniani amekuwa celebrated maisha yake yote unapata celebration 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 hata kanisa kanisa likizaliwa na vita utapata maisha yake yote itakuwa na nini vita na ndio sababu we are not supposed to start a church by by vita una unapigana kanisa una unapasua kanisa unaenda unaanzisha yako unaita come out of the village international ministry na unasema holy ghost fire na unaweka mshahara wa moto uh, kama umetoa vita hiyo <laughs> huduma itaishi na huduma uh, na vita uh, na, na pia ni vizuri kuuliza ndoa ilizaliwa vipi how was your marriage born hey, amen na mambo yale nitazungumza hakutakuwa na imani nyingi lakini itakusaidia It is going to help you. Unaona unaona mwanaume yoyote ameenda akanyang'anyana mke wa mtu. Ameanza ndoa na vita. Si ni kweli? Hiyo ndoa itakuwa na nini? 
na vita. Unaona kijana yoyote ama msichana yoyote anachukua uh, mzee wanawaita sponsor. Yeah, anachukua mzee maana anataka kutajirika, anachukua mzee wa mtu, ameoa mwanamke fulani, lakini kwa sababu yeye ni msichana mrembo, bado wako na ile figa, ako sawa, na mke wa yule mzee amezeeka na kwa hivyo ana yule mzee, ananyang'anya yule mwanamke uh, mzee wake anawekwa mahali. Hiyo ndoa imezaliwa kwa njia isiyo sawa. Na hiyo ndoa italeta uchungu na machonzi. Na ni vizuri kuuliza kila kitu umezaa umekizaa vipi? Na ndiyo sababu wakati Musa amekaa na baba yake in law miaka karibu 40 amekaa kwa nyumba ya mzee anaitwa Jethro amekaa for 40 years wajua 40 years kukaa nyumba ya mtu sio miaka kidogo Bible inasema wakati Mungu alimuita akamwambia Musa nimekuita uondoke uende ukawaokoe wa Israeli na uwatoe katikati ya vifungo vile wamefungwa na umwambie farao achilia watu wangu waende wakanitumikie Bible inasema Musa alikuwa ni mtu mwerevu. Biblia inasema alimuendea Jethro. Akamwambia Jethro, uh, nimeitwa na Mungu na ninakuomba. Ai ai kwanza Bible inasema he requested na akasema please allow me to go. Aka request kwa njia inayofaa. Na Bible inasema naye Jethro akamwambia go in peace. Na naweza kukuuliza mahali huo unatoka. Do they tell you that go in peace? Ukitoka kwa familia yenu ukuje na kuru, uanze kazi huku. What did your mother and your father tell you? Je, walikuambia go in peace. Kama hilo tendo tumefanya hapa, go in peace. Watu wengi wakiondoka mahali huwa wanaondoka na fujo. Watu wengi wakiondoka mahali wanaondoka na madharau. Watu wengi wakiondoka mahali wanatupa mikono. Chanzo cha jambo ni muhimu sana. The beginning of something is very key. Naye Musa alipotumwa na father in law akaambiwa enda na uwe na amani wherever Moses went he was victorious watu wengi tumekosa na tumefail katika maisha because tukianza mambo hatuitayanzi kwa njia inayofaa tunayanza na fujo msichana badala utoke kwa familia yako uh, vizuri your mom na dad wakwambie kwa heri unatoroka na unatafutwa wiki mbili baada unapatikana uliolewa na na huku na ivasha dafifi na huko sasa ndiyo unaishi ama rokichogio na huko unatuintroduzia una muzee hatujui ya litoka wapi. It is always good to allow people to say go in. Na ndiyo vizuri kila mahali unaondoka, ondoka na, na amani. Hata wanasema do not bang the door behind you because you may need it. Si wanasema anga hivyo. Uh, na kikuyu wakasema na Greek kwa umiruo. Nego shokago. Hiyo ni kumahanisha. <laughs> Mahali usha toka, unaweza ukarudi. If there is a point, don't bang the door. Hebuge ukia mtu muambia, don't bang the door. Unaona hata ile kampuni umiajiriwa, wacha kutukana watu kitoka huko na SMS. Unawambia wewe ulikuwa na jifanya bozu bozu yapa wewe ni nani. Wewe ni mtu bure. Alafu huyo bozu umemuambia ni bure. Five years to come, anakuwa ndiye mkubu wa ile kampuni unataka kuenda kuajiriwa. Unapata the same boss. Amekalia kiti ya kufanyia interview. It is always good not to bang the door when you leave. Always remember there are only mountains that don't meet. We humans, we meet. Tutakutana tu mahali na utaitaji msaada wangu na nitaitaji msaada wako. Usigongeshe murango ukitoka. Don't bang the door. Na ukianzisha hata kama ni biashara, uanzishi hata kama ni huduma, uanzishi hata kama ni kazi yoyote, unaizaa. Izae in a way itakuwa na celebration for the rest of that life. Kutakuwa na pattern ya celebration. Na ndiyo ninaambia vijana walio mahali hapa, heshimu mzazi wako, muheshimishe, akwambie go in peace ukaolewe. Mama yako aliye kidogo akwambie go in peace. Unapata kuanzia hapo, there is a um, a pattern of uh, generational blessing, a pattern of generational uh, success. Na kwa hivyo, Bible inasema, Jerusalem, kitu yako moja ikona shida ni kwamba, your birth had an issue. Kuzali wakwako kulikuwa na shida. There was no celebration. Ata ukisoma hapo chini, uta, uta, ukisoma yo yote Ezekiel 16, utaona mambo yale ambo ya nazungumzua. Kwa hivyo, number one, your birth was very key. Kwa hivyo, number two, you are nativity. What are your roots? Ulitoka wapi? You cannot ignore who you are. You cannot ignore your people. You cannot ignore the people who brought you to this life. Hata hiyo clan, hiyo muhirega, hiyo wanasemanga. You cannot ignore it. 
You can never deny your roots Hawezi kata muzizi ule ulitoka Na kovo kila mtu uko hapa ni vizuri tukubali mizizi yetu Na watu wengi wamekataa majina yao original Wanajiita majina ya kizungu yote dabu Kama sasa mimi nafani jiite Pastor Ben Benny Benson Wa ina, ina tisha sana Ben Benny Benson Lakini at the end of the day kuna nganga na njoroge mahali Na nafani zikubali I should accept them That is who I am Hii majina kusema lakini they came They are names that came We appreciate them, we love them Na anajua tulibatizwa hiyo majina maana majina zetu zilikuwa mbaya mbaya Kama unaita mutu mwenye uh, unaita mtu ngom, wa ngombe unaita mtu wa ngare wakati wazungu walisikia hiyo majina ina, inaita watu ngombe munyi munyi ni nini si ni ile munyama uh, na rhino na kwa hivyo wazungu wakatupatia majina mazuri sasa kama yangu Benson the son of the right hand the prospered one uh, wengine hapa mnaitwa nani Paul uh, kama sasa Paul Okello anaitwa Paul uh, majina hayo mazuri David the gold, uh, the Goliath uh, the giant killer Na kwa tukapewa majina yote mazuri lakini pamoja na hayo we have a root that we have come from. Na kwa leo nataka nizungumzie how your roots can affect your destiny. Ulitoka wapi na msingi wako ni yupi and how it can affect you. Hayo mambo ndiyo nataka nizungumzie leo and I know God is going to bless you. Let us start with Jesus. Tuangalie mzizi wa Yesu katika kitabu cha Matthew chapter number 1 verses 1. The book of Matthew chapter 1 itakuonyesha watu watatu Na mizizi yao alafu ni kuja ni, ni, ni malizia na maneno mengine hapa ambayo yatasaidia maisha yako. Matthew chapter 1 verse 1. Ina tu, I, 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 Math, Ma, Matthew, uh, the, the, the one who wrote the book of Matthew, who was Matthew, he was an original Jew. Na yeye ana, anatuletea Yesu in a different way. Wajua kila kitabu kuna vile kina introduce Yesu. Matthew anatuletea Yesu kutoka mahali yalitoka. Who is he? Unajua kuna kitabu kingine kina introduce Yesu kama John Kinasema in the beginning was the word Kwa hivyo hicho kina tu introduce ya Yesu in the spiritual capacity Matthew anatuletea who originally Jesus was Ebu sikia from verses 1 The Bible says the book of the generation of Jesus Nataka ushike hiyo The book of the generation of Jesus Christ Arafu inasema who? Son of And then inasema Then inasema the son of Abraham. Now, geukia mtu muulize, who, whose son or daughter are you? Mana hiyo is very key. Umetoka, who? Unaenza sema, nandi unaona people from Nandi. Kama sasa the former president alikuwa na itua Daniel Toroitich Arab. Arab Moy. Son of Moy. How ndi wanaelewa kwamba, when you introduce yourself, you introduce yourself with the roots you come from. Ya kwamba Daniel Toroitich Arab Moi. Na kwa hivyo hapa tunaambiwa Jesus Christ, Arab David, Arab Abraham. Na kwa hivyo mzizi wa Yesu ni kutoka kwa nani? Kwa Daudi na namba 2 ametoka kwa nani? Kwa Abraham. Why did God relate Jesus with Abraham? Wacha ni kuonyeshe. Katika Genesis 22 verse 18, who was Abraham? Na why is Jesus being connected to Abraham? Why? Tunasema mzizi wake ni Ibrahimu. Maana kuna prophecy Ibrahim was given Ambayo ni muhimu sana katika Genesis 22 verses 18. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Mbegu yako ambayo utakayo za. The seeds. Nataka ushike hiyo. The seeds. Mana hawa, hawa, watu hawaelewi wakati uh, Abraham ameza seed ya Yesu. Na hizi seeds zengine zinatajwa ni sisi tumiokoka. It is us who are born again. Kovo, in your, in thy seed shall all the nations be blessed because thou has obeyed my voice. What seed was that? It was the seed, not the Israelites. It was Jesus Christ. Kupitia mutoto wako, one seed, which is Jesus Christ, the nations shall be what? Blessed. Na kovo, wakati Matthew anasema, Jesus, son of David, son of Abraham, Anatimiza unabii ya kwamba Abraham alikuwa mepewa ahadi na mungu ya kwamba Mbegu yako, your seed Ambayo utakae za, ambayo ni yesu Mataifa ya tabarikiwa The nations will be blessed Today, we are so blessed as nations because of the name of Jesus Saai hapa Kenya, mashule yale ya mejengwa Mahospitali yale ya mejengwa 
mambo yale yamefanyika hapa Kenya kwa sababu ya jina la Yesu tukayaondoa Kenya Kenyans economy will collapse I guarantee you hata hizi university kubwa unasikia Harvard University, Oxford University, ma university hayo yote makubwa yalianzishwa na wa missionary. Missionaries began these churches. Even most of you mulienda shule na mkawa sponsored by schools ambazo zimeshikanishwa na kanisa mahali. So the nations have been blessed because of the seed of who? The seed of Abraham. Uh, ata our founding president here in Kenya alikuwa educated by missionaries so kizunguiri alikuwa naongea it came from jesus it was because of jesus he could speak english it was because of jesus he was exposed to the world kama wa missionary wa hawange kuja in the name of god uh, then he will not be where he was na kwa hivyo kupitia the seed of abraham that is jesus christ all of us we have become blessed na kwa hivyo the root of jesus is abraham baba wa imani na kwa hivyo Bible ikisema Matthew chapter 1 turudishe hapo Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 inasema the book of generations of Jesus Christ the son of David the son of Abraham kwa hivyo Abraham alikuwa ashapewa ahadi zamani ya kwamba he will become he will be one of those most key people na kwa hivyo I don't even need because of time to go to David because the Bible says uh, the root of David uh, will rise up with a scepter in his hand na kwa hivyo who is that that is Jesus mahali kwingi kwa biblia Yesu anakuwa represented as the son of David maana naye Daudi aliambiwa kile kiti nimekupatia the promise of the throne it is for you and the generations to come Mungu akasema kwa familia ya Daudi hakutatokosa mtawala hapa duniani na mtawala wa mwisho tunamuona ni nani ni Yesu na anatawala mpaka leo he is still ruling even this day na kwa hivyo ndiyo sababu anaitanishwa na watu hao ambao kwa mizizi yake namba one kuna imani ya Ibrahimu namba two kuna utawala kutoka kwa Daudi. So ni vizuri ujiulize where am I from? Who am I? What are my roots? Na pia ukijiuliza Kenya, where did we come from? Maana haya maswali ni maswali unafaa kuuliza. Initially most of the Bantu countries, uh, Bantu speaking people walitoka Ethiopia. They came from Ethiopia. You know we are nilotics we have bantus we have who else kushites tuko tuko wengi ukifuatilia for example maana mimi nilikuwa nafuatilia nikiwa bantu nili notice the bantus came from where ethiopia now ethiopia where did they come did they come from they came from egypt so most of us africans we are descendants of egypt tulitoka egypt kenya hakuku watu zamani ni wewe hujui there was nobody here huku kulikuwa msitu ni wanyama walikuwa na room hapa Kenya Tanzania there was nobody every man you see around here they came from where Egypt na ndio unaona wa Afrika wako na uchawi mingi sana maana Egypt is the mother of witchcraft na ndio unaona Egypt Musa anafika na fimbo fimbo ya kutisha anaitwa nani farao ameshika hivi uh, anaangusha chini Can you imagine Musa before hakuwa ameona fimbo ikibadilika iwe nyoka? Nowhere he had ever seen. Paka Bible inasema Mungu alipomwambia aweke fimbo iwe nyoka alitoroka. Read your Bible. Aliona hivi akashtuka maana mizizi yake haina mambo kama hayo. Hajaweiona mambo kama hayo. Lakini Egypt walikuwa maprofesa wa kugeuza miti inakuwa nyoka. Na wewe ndio sasa huamini uchawi. Oh, hakuna uchawi. Sasa kama farao miti ya wachawi wake inakuwa nyoka. What about now? Ndio unaenda Mombasa unaona paka imekuangalia hivi. Si wewe unasema hii ah, naweza piga hii paka. Hiyo paka iko na pepo kama sita. Let me come back here. Ninasema your nativity, your root is very key. Na leo nataka ni kuonyesha mtu mwingine Paul katika the book of Acts chapter 22 verse 3. Kuna mambo Paul anasema ambayo itatusaidia pia leo. Uh, kuelewa mambo haya ninasema Paul naye anasema hivi Acts chapter 22 verse 3 anazungumzia mizizi yake anasema hivi I am verily a man which is a Jew Paul akihubiri anasema I am what I am a Jew born in Tarsus anasema alizaliwa wapi where he was born a city in Sicilia yet brought up in this city at the feet of Gamaliel anasema who my teacher was nani alinifundisha maisha anaitwa Gamaliel and taught according 
to the perfect manner of law of my fathers. Anasema mzizi wangu nimefundishwa mpaka sheria ya baba zangu and was zealous towards God na mzizi wangu tuna Mungu huwa tunafuata with a lot of zeal as you all know to this day ukisoma Paul ni mahali kwingi sana anasema i was circumcised on the eighth day anazungumzia mambo mengi ya mizizi yake i am a benjamin na ukiangalia katika benjamin katika kabila mbili za, za Israeli walikuwa wametoa wafalme ya kwanza ni juda ya pili ni benjamin maana king saul was a benjamin he was not a juda haku ametoka kabila ya juda lakini tunapata wafalme kadhaa katika Biblia ambao walitoka kwenye kabila la Benjamin na kwenye kabila la Juda. Na kwa hivyo anaelewa mizizi yake. Anasema katika mizizi yangu ninaelewa sheria, katika mizizi yangu ama juu ninajua kule nilizaliwa, ninajua zile sheria nilifundishwa, ninakuwa zirus, ah ninajua mpaka siku ya leo. I know who I am. So never ignore who you are. Ni vizuri unaangalia where did you come from and who are you? Usiishi tu duniani bila kuuliza huyu you are. Ni vizuri kujijua, sisemi ufuate sana lakini kuwa mwanafunzi wa kujua what are your roots. Kwa hivyo Paul anasema who he was. Haya Isaiah chapter 51 verse 1. Ni kuonyesha ingine ambayo inasema concerning your root. Isaiah 51 verse 1. Listen to me you who pursue righteousness and you who seek the Lord, look to the rock which you were cut and from the quarry quarry from which you are hewn ama you are digged napenda hii inasema look unto the rock which you are hewn and from the hole of the pit which you are dug ulichimbwa shimo gani ulitoka wapi mizizi mizizi ya mtu huwezi ignore you cannot ignore who you are ulitoka kwa wale gani na ulichimbwa shimo gani where did you come from we ulitoka kwa wale gani and from which hole were you dug? Hebu uliza mwanzako ulitoka kwa gani? Na ulichimbwa shimo gani? Where did you come from? Ulitolewa shimo gani? Maana jiwe lile la mbaruko kunaitwa ndarogo ama kunaitwaje? Jiwe ya ndarogo ni tofauti na hii ya huku juu kunaitwa nini huko juu? Ya huku ile inakuanga ya white. Ziko tofauti? Mawe ziko tofauti. Hata kama tumeketi hapa tunasema haleluya kuna mtu hapa watu wao wanakufanga na miaka mia moja ako na long life by nature haezi kufa hata akosa kuomba sana atagonga mia comfortably kwao wana roho ya kuzeeka yani wanafuatangwa na kuzeeka hawakufangi hata wajaribu nini accidents ikifanyika ndio wanatoka unaona hata hakugongwa mahali yani generation yao ina demand they hit 100 kuna watu hapa umetoka generation ya pesa watu wako na pesa whatever you touch kama mimi najua familia moja huko kwetu Gishagi the, wherever they are they are driving the best cars the best houses hizo familia unapata anything they touch is blessed ni generation it is a generational thing na ndio wewe in your generation you need to change some things unafaa useme hata kama nilienda wetaidhi ya primary school watoto wangu wataenda ngambo come rain come may i command they will go where i never went in the name of jesus i transform the generational weakness so you think as the family you were born in na ndio sababu nataka watoto wangu waende university maana mimi sikuenda university nilienda chuo cha biblia but i never went to university wajua ni vizuri uelewe the generational blessings that run in your family and those that do not kwa hivyo hebu geukia mtu muulize ulitoka kwa wale gani namaliza na ujumbe wa mwisho judge 6:15 ya mwisho judge 6:15 the last one judge 6:15 so he said unto him oh my lord how can i save israel indeed my clan is the weakest in manasseh and i am the least in my father's house hilo ndio ombi na tatu ombe you will not be the least any weakness in your clan and in your roots from today we cut off his ability over your life ah nimesema hautafungwa na weakness ya kwenu nimekataa ufungwe na weakness ya kwenu ah situkubaliana na hiyo tusimame tuombe hiyo we pray that my root weakness will not rule me next sunday nitazungumzia the traditions and the cultures of where you are